What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode. As you might have figured out, today is going to be uh, yeah, a little video on my ride experience with those uh, yeah, very cool looking wavy goat wheels. So you remember when I said that it's not raining? I mean, it's not raining, it's hailing, actually. So, yeah. I hope that that's going to pass by quickly. So these wheels have been sent to me by Simon, so the founder of Gold Wheels, a couple of months back. And I now have been riding with them, I think, a little bit over 500 kilometers, using them on uh, my Windspace Agile, as well as on my custom titanium frame, just to feel a little bit, uh, yeah, what kind of impact those wheels have, uh, yeah, riding on those two very different frame materials. So when Simon reached out a couple of months back, I had, uh, yeah, the option to choose any of the wheels from his portfolio, and I particularly was interested in those, uh, yeah, wavy looking ones, because I knew from uh, other brands that are offering a very similar design, that uh, those designs are supposed to work very well when you're riding, especially in crosswinds and in general, just very windy conditions. So that was something that I really want to try out, because I have a couple of wheels where uh, crosswinds sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge. So um, yeah, this was my main focus, especially for the very beginning of that test. So I would say, uh, yeah, let's hear my opinion straight off the bike from the first ride. So let's talk about the wavy goat wheels. Normally, I mean, it's a very windy day today. And uh, normally whenever a side width is coming up, I was definitely noticing that big time on the other wheels that I was riding on my front wheel. But now I gotta say, first of all, they accelerate really well, even though they are like 100 grams heavier than my Elite Wheels drive wheels. They are narrower profile. So whenever those side widths are coming up, I'm kind of preparing myself to steer against it just because I'm so used to it. But there's nothing. It cuts through in a straight line. This could be due to the fact that it's a narrower profile or due to this uh, wavy design, which is what most brands are advertising this design for. So yeah, these wheels perform very, very well in crosswinds. Um, I would say, especially when you're already feeling that there is this side width coming and already preparing to counter steer. This is something that at least I didn't really experience, um, especially in comparison to some other wheels. You rather can cut straight through or at least that that push off from the side is not even closely as strong as with some of my other wheels, uh, which are normally around 50 millimeters deep, but don't have that particular texture or that particular design of, um, yeah, of the rim. Another factor which makes these wheels uh, quite different um, in comparison to most of the wheels that I've been riding in the past years is that most of the wheels that I was riding recently are carbon spoked wheels. So even though these wheels have aerobladed spokes, these spokes are actually steel spokes. So they are a little bit more flexy than um, a carbon spoke. And uh, yeah, it was I was very interested in how this is actually gonna impact my ride feel, which is also why I rode these wheels on uh, yeah, my rather stiff Windspace Agile, and then also on my yeah, slightly more relaxed, I would say, um, and forgiving titanium frame. I'm sorry if I'm sweating here on camera, but uh, I'm filming this from straight from China and it's a million degrees here and uh, yeah, two million percent uh, humidity. So uh, yeah, forgive me about that. So how do carbon spokes compare to steel spokes on a ride out? So even a casual rider like me was able to very quickly feel a difference here, especially when you're quickly accelerating. So if you're coming basically and accelerating from a standstill, uh, standing at a light, for example, and putting a lot of power down, or if you're starting a sprint and getting out of the saddle and putting a lot of power down, you definitely feel that there is a little bit of springiness to the whole system. So maybe if you are some hardcore racer, this should be something that you might wanna keep uh, in the back of your mind. But there is actually also one big benefit that I felt from uh, yeah the slight springiness and um, yeah the, the slightly more relaxed feel, I would say, of steel spokes. And um, it is that they are a little bit more forgiving. They add a little bit more comfort to your ride. So if you, for example, have a hardcore stiff carbon or aluminum frame and you're going on a long distance group or actually even single uh, long distance ride and you want this little bit more comfort then um, yeah a wheel set like uh, these gold wheels with those steel spokes help you to take that harshness edge off a little bit and adding to the comfort of your ride and of course when you pair this with um, yeah with a frame that's already known for more comfort like a steel frame or a titanium frame 
this basically additionally levels up the comfort level of your ride, which you can really feel if you go for longer distances, I would say everything over like 50, 60 kilometers. It is, uh, yeah, it, it becomes definitely more comfy. And aside from all those comfort aspects, there is also a convenience and security aspect, I would say, of um, these spokes. So these gold wheels use spokes from a company called Sapim. They're also aerobladed, as I said, but these are widely available. So in case, let's say, you're traveling and your wheelset somehow gets damaged during transportation or for whatever reason during a ride, um, you can basically get it fixed at pretty much any well-equipped bike repair shop and don't have to wait for uh, yeah, any proprietary carbon spokes to be shipped and installed. So yeah, I think that this adds this additional level of security and safety, especially when you're traveling away from home, that uh, yeah, whatever happens to your wheel set will most likely be easily repairable by pretty much anybody. So overall, this is a great wheel set that was really, really fun to review, and I'm definitely gonna keep it, especially um, yeah, for the longer rides out where I know that there are gonna be strong winds on my ride, so I can yeah, keep a straight line without having to fight uh, to the left or the right whenever crosswinds are coming. So have a look at the Gold Wheels website. I'm going to link it down in the description below. Uh, if you're interested, also don't forget to hit that like button in case uh, you like this video. And uh, with that, as always, I would say thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.